There is a lot of scientific uncertainty and debate about the health risks associated with overweight and obesity. We rarely read about it, though. We rarely hear about it. Once in a while, there's a controversy that gets news media attention. So there was, in 2005, a, an article published by CDC scientists showing that the number of deaths associated with overweight and obesity combined was about 25,000 per year, which was considerably less than the 400,000 that had been estimated by another group of scientists the previous year. And one of the reasons for this discrepancy is that while they found that obesity was associated with a, about 112,000 excess deaths, overweight, which is the weight category just below, with BMI between 25 to 30, was associated with about 89,000 fewer deaths per year. So that's an example of a controversy that got quite a bit of news media attention. But there are a lot of other studies that are published or show that obesity is not associated with higher risk. So for instance, among the clinical population that has cardiovascular disease, those who are obese are less likely to die than those who are not. Um, when that is discussed, it's discussed as a paradox. Other studies show that those who are in the normal weight category are more likely to die of respiratory diseases than those who are obese. But we don't we don't talk about that so much. Or um, certain types of cancers, are you are at higher risk if you are obese, but there's others for which you are lower risk if you are obese. And what's interesting to me is the extent to which we only focus on those cases that conform to the dominant narrative of obesity is bad or fat is bad and thin is good. We have a selective attention when something conforms to that expectation, we talk about it, we discuss it, and when it doesn't, we either ignore it or we talk about it as a paradox.